Here's the wolf coming out of the prowl to hunt his prey. And we'll see. Now, shout outs to uh, Xenoblade Chronicles getting a remastered edition for the Switch. Like, I never played the game myself, but it's one of those games that, like, I've, I've, I'm debating whether or not to get it for the Switch, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you probably shouldn't say that on stream. I'm sure there's a bunch of people who will crucify for you for that. I mean, it's one of those things where it came out on the, the Wii, you know? It, it's a long... <laughs> it, it was one of those games that came out... It's been that long ago. Yeah. It, it came out, like, 2010, I think? 2010, 2012, something like that? Like, it's been... It came out before the Wii U. That, that's how old it is. Wow. Anyway, about this matchup, how do you feel... How do you feel? I feel like in, in a lot of situations, Wolf is the one keeping you out and keeping you at bay. But uh, in this matchup, Wolf has to be a little more proactive. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, Wolf excels at the close, like, CQC battle. But Shulk has that medium range, and then Wolf has the long range advantage with the blaster. So the matchup is going to come down to how well they can interact between the close range and the medium range, you know? Because close range, like, if Wolf can get in, like, he can like find the kill eventually but if Shulk can like keep him out then like Wolf is gonna have a hard time like finding his kill options and so it's all about which player can keep their spacing more ideal because Shulk has to approach at some point you know he has to go in he has to commit to something and that closes the spacing and if Wolf can kind of like abuse that spacing you know bring it to his advantage you know Wolf can bring it out I think it's an even matchup because neither character has anything that's like super impressive against you one another, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, we're seeing these players now that they've, they've just uh, popped off here. That first stock <laughs> in under a minute, both players have lost theirs. And, uh, and that side B and then the edge guard right there. Uh, just showing the strength of these characters off this game. Yet again, gets the fair, looking for the uh, get up option, but gets crossed up by the get up attack right there. And here comes the smash R, and he oh. wanted the fair, but it did not drop a little ledge. But it doesn't matter because he can just get him when he uh, goes for the get up option. Fair, just such a big hit drop, covering so much. And again, this is where Wolf suffers oh. as a disadvantage. You know, I I feel like you know what that's it might be a little bit harder for Wolf because his disadvantage is a lot worse than Schultz, but. Yet again, like, you can kind of keep him out if he wants him to. It just comes down to, are you willing to play out the long game, you know? Yeah, in most scenarios, I think Schultz going to be living longer. Although, <laughs> as I say that, uh, Charlie good at finding some of these early kills. Um, yeah, of course, Schultz not having that crazy ability that he, to just hang on to no. no. No, he was at like 10. He was at 10 and he just died. Oh, Charlie laughing about that and Kome just kind of, he had to do in a glasses adjust. That was definitely yeah. a glasses adjust kind of moment. Oh my God. Like that, I, I, I was talking about like, yeah, like his, his disadvantage is probably worse, but then like his just raw kill power is something that like you cannot underestimate with Wolf. Well, know? if you think about it, two of the kills that Charlie got in that game were because he side beat on the stage. I don't think we're going to see that happen again in this game. I mean, it all depends. Like, it, it's it's quick. It's hard to react. To. You basically have to bet that they're going to side B and you're going to throw out a hitbox accordingly. But if you do that, then they're just going to go down low and up B instead. Yes. Yes, it's, it's sort of a 50-50 situation. Um, of course, you have different options with the upbeat, but Schultz being able to cover so much space that there's not a lot of safe options for, or safer options for Wolf to do. Right. Because if you just upbeat above stage, chances are, unless they're going for some kind of read, you're, you're just going to get punished. You know what, I'm really surprised Komei isn't trying to go like super far into his disadvantage like once Wolf is off stage, you know? I'd imagine he'd try to go for one more fair to see if he can try to catch a double jump, but you know, maybe just respecting Wolf and his ability to just kill you out of nowhere like that. 
Right, I think he wants to play this a little more cautiously, uh, just <laughs> because of the way the last game felt like it was maybe a, a robbery for him. Here we go, gets hit with the fair, and he's off stage. How he's going to back? Noah makes it back to ledge, gets the cross up in there, and Noah, he's off stage, and oh my god, oh. I love I love the attempt in there there, but you also got to understand that Shulk can recover super deep, and you know what? He just did not respect that, and he got a feed instead. Yeah, I, I think that was a little risky coming out from, from Charlie. Uh, obviously because of Boston is dog. <laughs> Side B again. Looks like he's going to live this time, though. All right. Didn't get that uh, spike hitbox. Would have been hilarious if he did, though. Here comes Shield R. You know, this is where, you know, you kind of got to respect the fact that you're probably not going to kill him, so just wait for him to either switch out or, go, or you know, wait for it to time out. Right. It, Shulk, one of the changes in, his, in this game is that his hearts do not last as long. So you can, did he just pop out of that? I think he used the iframes on the the Monado switch there uh, to avoid that confirm. And yet again, here he is in Smash R. You know, if he can get this kill right now, this would be so huge for Komei. But you know, I'm not going to risk it. He's already at 172. There's no reason to like give him an extra kill option off of like maybe like Nair or something. But here's the back air. Yeah, no, 77 percent. Not bad for Charlie. Definitely can bring this game back. But not if he gets spared like that and. Yet again, that's why I was kind of expecting Komei to do in, uh, earlier, is to go for those more aggressive options uh, against Wolf. A lot of these top players, though, they like to sort of condition an option. I'll just wait and see what you'll do off stage. Uh, so, I suppose uh, Komei there was just kind of biding his time, making. I think at this point in the game, making a read like that really. I was going to say it put him in a, co co uh, a position to close out this set, but now. A, a rare error coming out from Komei, making this a much closer game than he would have hoped. Right. You know, that's probably due to the fact that, like, when you're in speed mode, you fall a little bit faster. So he wasn't able to get as much height off of the up B, especially the second hit of the up B that he normally would have if he were in another mode. But, you know, Charlie kind of a little bit afraid to pull the trigger on the side B there because he you know he didn't want to get fared. But his up B just not having enough juice in the tank to make it back. And, you know, that was... A little bit of both players kind of just not yeah. utilizing their recovery moves to their best of abilities. Charlie with the unintentional homie stock. Mm -hmm. I've been there a few times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's even now. And we are winners semi, which is best of five, I believe. Yes, that is correct. All righty. So we've still got at least Two more games for you right here. One, go, Exciting set. Here you go, quick four throw in there, train. But I, I like what he's doing. He's doing the cross up there, and because Wolf doesn't have any really good like out of shield options, you know, the best might be his like Nair, but like that doesn't really hit behind him. So if you can cross up Wolf, like Wolf doesn't really have any answer for you. Yeah, and the speed of Renato really gives you that opportunity because you have so much. The speed. You yeah. can get wherever you need to go. But yeah. uh, I like how Charlie just kind of anticipated that again, and he just stuffed out that drift with the Nair. I love what he was trying to do there. He was trying to read a, a tech roll in, but you know, I'm not going to be able to find its mark. And you know what? When he tried going for that forward smash, he gets grabbed for it. Again, he's off stage. Do you have a double jump? No, doesn't need it. But yet again, he has to worry about the smash art, and Komei just kind of hitting the eject button on that art immediately when it didn't pay out. Yeah, I mean, how do you deal with Smash Art? Just put <laughs> Shulk in a bad spot. Right. Uh, of course, that's not always possible, but Charlie managing to get that hit on him. Oh, but just oh. going for the side B raw right there. You know, I feel like he was calling out a double jump, and you know what? It caught him, and he did not DI it well enough, and unfortunately dies for it. But forward throw with Smash will do it, and now we are at an even game. That's right. I mean, a crazy read from Charlie. Uh, but unfortunately, all he's going to get for that is this being an even game. Schultz just being so oppressive offstage. Right. Oh, but 
You know what? I like that. You know, opting to not go for the second hit because that might have put him in a worse spot if he had whipped it. But yet again, now he's at Smash Art, so he has to be super careful about how he approaches Wolf. There you go. Quick up the out of shield. That's nice damage. And yet again, you know, Shulk has all the tools to keep Wolf out, but you know what? Wolf is really tricky of how he moves and how he can force options from your opponent. Yeah, Charlie getting that parry, leaving some, some damage, sort of making Tommy maybe realize that he needs to be careful around Charlie's shield. Oh, okay, down yeah. smash. Yeah. And then catches the end lag of that with the up B. Now, I thought for sure he would go for up smash since, like, that smash hit, like, super, like, above the platform. But, you know what? Like, not going to work out in the end. All right, we had some of the venue there popping off for another. Uh, what is that? Uh, Blaze Blue? Anyway, so here we go. I mean, this is Charlie's last stock. You know, he needs to fin find this stock like as soon as possible because the more damage he takes, the more Homie's going to steal away with those leaves. Definitely, and, and it's just such a bad spot to be against. Uh, when he has that buster mode and he's got that stock lead. Right. Uh, just, I mean, we've seen, we see Charlie's already at 80% here. Uh, has a huge kill to climb. Right. And that buster's just going to attack on even more damage than necessary. So at a certain point, he's going to have to be careful about how he finds his kill because, you know what, at a certain point, it's going to be a little bit too little too late. Yeah, it's looking rough for Charlie at this point. He's been able to find these, these early kills, but he needs to, uh, well, he needs to not get back thrown. Um, yeah. At, even at center stage, that kill, wow. Yeah, I mean, Smash R, it's stupid strong. I feel like, I feel like Charlie wasn't expecting the back throw, so he probably DI'd in, expecting the forward throw or maybe the down throw. So he just got caught off super uh, unawares. Here we go to game four. Three, two, one, Pokemon Stadium go, again. Speed. And again, I mean, Shulk kind of just doing a really good job about walling Wolf out this entire set. You know, he kind of had to figure out, like, okay, let, let me take game one to figure out your MO. Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do in this situation? How am I going to punish that? And now you see just Kome just stealing away with this lead, knowing that, like, okay, you want to be here. I'm going to throw out an attack and back in case right here. Now you want to do this? No, I'm not going to let you. See, you charging down smash. I'm going to jump instead. And uh, you want to recover this way? No, I'm going to fare you. Oh. Yeah. Tries to go for that perfect uh, B there, the one where he angles it so he drops on the ability to grab the ledge. I think uh, a lot of, well, a lot of Charlie's strength is a, is that he labs the heck out of these characters. He knows the combos, knows them inside and out. Uh, but with Shulk, it's it's very easy for him to get out of his combos. So I, th I think um, in a lot of places, Charlie has had to sort of back off because he doesn't want to get shielded hard at him. Yeah, but that was an excellent timing on the board tail to kind of snipe out Shulk's uh, recovery right there. But he's going to be able to do that at least two more times if he wants to bring this to a game five. Yeah, coleman has been making great use of these initial hits of the the nares. He'll get the back hit of the starting out, so he'll turn around and throw it out. He's gotten so much mileage off of it. And I love how quickly he's able to like change in between Monado arts. You know, he's getting combo, so let me go into uh, shield really quick to minimize the amount of damage and hit stun, so I can like potentially like reverse combo you out of that. Yeah, that, that's definitely if you want to be a good shield, for sure, you need to know how to switch quick and what and have a game plan in mind when you press that button. Both characters are throwing out their bears, throwing out their kill options, but there's the dash attack and uh, smash, you know what, DIing in, so Charlie gonna die off the top right there. And I mean, that sent him straight up. I feel like you, you think, of like, oh, it's a dash attack, it's gonna send me out like 
away, so let me DI in to, like, not die. But, you know, that dash track just sent him straight up, and you know what? Not the perfect DI needed to survive. I think most of the time when we see Nico play, you know, our, our SoCal stroke main, he goes for a fair a lot. That's how he gets a lot of his kills when he goes into Smash mode. But we've seen Kome use all kinds of other moves to great effect. He's gotten that, I mean, some throws. We've seen Nico do that as well, but also like that dash attack there like we saw earlier. Yeah. Um, I feel like Nico is probably one of the best like edge guarders that the, the community has seen. But Kome, I feel like his neutral game and his decision making in like certain situations is just on a different level than Nico. Right, like, but this is a still a close game here. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and so Charlie's sort of backing off there as Kome goes to shield. I mean, yet again, like there's that smash R, and that's the thing that's like. It's like Lil Mac with KO Punch, you know, you have to respect it because you can just die off of a stray hit if you're not careful. Yeah, and, and while it's gone, you sort of feel pressure just to end the game. Nice conversion there from Charlie. Not going to quite end it, but he's in a good spot. And just calling out the neutral getup with the down smash. Ooh, that's okay, good for Charlie. But he's still got another game to win if he wants to take it over Kome. Right. Here we go to game five, you know. Both players have been slugging it out e each other like one after the other. You know? It's like, who can find their kill option first? Will Shulk get the edge guard with the bears? Or will Wolf just hit a random down smash or back air? <laughs> or some of those side Bs we saw earlier. Three, two, uh, actually, that side B leading go. into the kill that last game. Okay, gets the fair and get again. Oh, wow. I love how he immediately switched to jump and just in case that did spike him so that he would have the uh, opportunity to be back immediately and like get that extra height. And I love the adaptation from Charlie knowing that like, okay, he switched to shield. Let me not go for my usual combo. Let me just try to back off in order to avoid that. Okay, yeah. Kome catching that side B there. Uh, finally getting a, uh, a oh, situation where he benefits him instead of getting hit by it again. Okay, Cohen <laughs> hits him with the run up, wait for a while, and then grab. Uh, but Charlie says, nope, I'm getting out of here. Yet again, now Charlie playing super patient right now, just waiting for Komei to press a button and you know, press wrong, apparently. And that's kind of the thing when Shulk is in that speed mode. Like, Shulk really dictates the, the pace of the map. But oh, are you kidding me? No. That was such good awareness going to uh, shield and switching immediately to smash to find that kill. Oh, Charlie is so salty. I hear him right now. That was, oh, that was crazy. Just the hit stun not lasting long enough. And enough time to get an F smash there All right. just to end this talk. Oh, and okay. almost. Charlie firing back. Yes, he gets the up air. This is still a game. But Kome also firing off. Just with some huge combos there. Almost takes Charlie off stage again, which could have been death. Right. And this may be death as well. He's in a rough spot right here. No yep. jump. Oh, no, he but he falls out of it. Yeah, okay. That, so. that Charlie should have been dead right there. You know, Kome had the right read. He had the right punish. But I feel like Charlie just smashed the eyes like his life depended on it, and it worked out in the end because he is still alive and he's bringing this back. Smash giveth and smash taketh away. Right. Okay, F tilt taking it. Here we go. No last off for Charlie and potentially of his winner's life right here. Tried reading the get up option off of the platform, but not going to be able to get it in time. But Up's gets it smash. that time. Maybe if he was in smash, that would kill, but he's a buster. Right. He's still going to get that extra damage. And okay. I love what Komei did there because he knew that Charlie was throwing out a bunch of bears and you know, crouching underneath that kind of like stuck underneath all the bears that Charlie wanted to throw out. And oh, that's not quite Oh, nice recovery from Charlie. Just getting the back quick enough so that Komei wasn't able to set up any kind of, of, of uh, edge guard. Edge guard, yeah. yeah. And now he's off stage and oh. I love that. He tried going for the high recovery, he gets he's the air dodge. But make it back. Yeah. Can't just assume he's. He's dead after one hit. You no, know, Charlie last stock, but 
This is Shulk in Buster, and he's at zero. Like, he's going to need some insane conversion if Charlie wants to bring this game back. Like, goes for the upbeat to clear it out, but doesn't quite get it. All right. I feel like Komei's feeling the pressure now. Realizing that this is his last stock. You know, this is his last stock of game five. This is where you kind of can't give your opponent any inch, because if they take an inch, they'll go for a mile. Here he is off stage. Is this going to be the okay. edge guard? No, it isn't. Not. Okay, he doesn't want to go out there. doesn't want to risk it. I think he feels like he can beat, Sh uh, beat Charlie in neutral. Oh no, that was such a bad get up attack. Oh yeah, just barely. You know, I feel like if he was in any other mode, like Charlie would have been, he would have lived at the very least, you know? Yeah, it's funny that a lot of those Shulks like to go for a buster when you're off stage. All right, um, <laughs> you guys hear me? Yep. Uh, camera died. The uh, camera right, died. Right, okay. right when the game ended. Oh, camera that, died. That camera right in front of you up there? It that died already. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna take a quick, uh, take a quick little break, okay. so I can replace it. All right. So we're gonna take a Alrighty. little quick break uh, right before winners finals, and I'll switch out all the cameras, make sure everything's running on full cylinders, and we will be back in a few minutes. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna.